Hey, beautiful collective, welcome back to the channel. So, I did the last collective read where the love has no boundary topic come up. I totally disagree with that. I think that you can love a person, but a healthy relationship needs boundaries. Otherwise, you're in a codependent situation again. Like you're just going to love them unconditionally without boundaries. Uh, I don't agree with it. I think you need healthy boundaries. Healthy boundaries. Otherwise, you're in a codependent situation again. I think that you can love a person unconditionally. But I think that you need boundaries for self. I don't get it. Are we over romanticizing love here? I, you know, I'm going to ask the tarot about that because it's really bothering me. Spirit, what about this? Might be 50-50, Spirit saying. Codependency, I'm telling you. Thank you, Spirit, because it's like... You need boundaries. Otherwise, it becomes codependent when you love unconditionally. Like, you can love... But don't over-romanticize love. Like, you can love someone, like your children, your family, your loved ones. But you need to set healthy boundaries. Otherwise, it's codependent. I'm sorry. I don't know. That's just what I'm... Yeah. Otherwise, it'll turn out to be disastrous. designed to keep you stuck. I, I, I don't know. Let's see what spirit has to say. Spirit saying, you know how spirit says, spare the rod, spoil the child. You need discipline. Even our Father in heaven disciplines us. You know what I'm saying? We all get disciplined. We break the law. We go to jail. We get fined. We suffer consequences. This is like removing consequences from the theory. God even says a father who refuses to discipline their child hates their child. So <clears throat> I am totally, that's what this read is saying. You can offer love. You can offer this not in a judgmental way. I'm not saying to be judgmental. But to have a healthy relationship, you need to have, otherwise it becomes a form of manipulation. That's what the read is saying. Like, you can love unconditionally. You can love someone and still have boundaries. But you can't, it can lead to, it can lead to, unhealthy patterns and it can lead to no no it is not it can lead to heartbreak exactly spirit because one person becomes very self-indulgent 
one party then becomes one becomes the giver one becomes the taker thank you for that clarification because it was driving me nuts i'm like was i thinking wrong for the last 60 years <laughs> i could you have to have for a healthy relationship you know let it be light let it be free give people freedom i'm not saying have them chained here but someone who is confident in themselves and can make judgments for their own life it's like that either will work with me or that is against me i'm not going to uh just be a fool and let you be self-indulgent and not set up some kind of boundary. Otherwise, I'm codependent then. That's what I was thinking. Ay, 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 ay. Because then it becomes burdensome. Why would you choose a burden? I'm just saying. No, I don't agree. That's then you become like afraid, afraid of uh, being alone, of too afraid to walk away from something that could potentially be very unhealthy for you and toxic for you. Yes, you can love a person unconditionally. That doesn't mean it's without boundaries. I'm sorry. Okay. Spirit's bringing up a good point. So, why then, if we were to love unconditionally without boundaries... Why would then spirit come in and inter do divine intervention? Yeah. Spirit wants us to be free, but yet work together with unity, but give each other space to grow. However, why would then, if someone, well, were they reciprocating that back? Were they loving us unconditionally? Why is one person always getting hurt then? Is it the fear of being alone? Yeah, was it reciprocal? If it was reciprocal, nobody'd be getting hurt here. Staying together because of a commitment? Balance, that's what Spirit's saying. Everything in balance. Harmony. If one person is being the giver and the other one is being the taker, you need to set up boundaries. I'm sorry. Everything in balance. It was out of balance. See? One person then becomes the controller and the other person becomes the weaker. And that's not the way it is designed to be. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care what no, nobody says. It's based upon respect, honor, 
and integrity. Respect boundaries. Respectful relationships have boundaries in them. It's equal give and take. It's like I'm not saying that this is not a masculine, feminine, who's better situation. Sometimes the feminine got to give more. Sometimes the masculine got to give more. It's yin, it's yang, it's back, it's forth. Sometimes you got to give more than 50%. Sometimes you both got to give 100%. It is hard work maintaining balance. But you do need boundaries. That's what Spirit's saying. You have to set up boundaries. Okay? It's not foolish. <coughs> Because otherwise, it's like denial. Somebody's like, well, I have to stay because we're in a divine union or have to accept this behavior because I'm in a contract. Hmm. Oh, boy. You're putting me to the test here, spirit. Spirit knows my opinion. I'm very opinionated, as you might know. <laughs> but I am being put to the test right now. You got me on the hot seat, Spirit. Thanks. <laughs> uh, you both are supposed to be independent of one another. Because you both had lives before you knew each other. And you're going to have lives after each other. Even if it was death, do us part. You know what I'm saying? You're still an independent individual. How would you then exist in the world if you weren't independent? You'd be completely codependent on the other person. And that's a heavy load to carry. It's like one person then becomes codependent on the other for their existence and that's not healthy I don't know I'd piss off a lot of people then wouldn't I if that was true I do piss off a lot of people <laughs> I'm really being tested here guys bear with me I do piss a lot of people off. Yes, I do. Because then you become resentful. You know, you become resentful of the other person. It's not healthy. It's like somebody calls you a name, for example. And they keep calling you this name day after day after day. And you tell them nicely, please stop calling me that name. And it's like disciplining a child you tell that child i've already told you no now stop doing that and then the child tests you and tests you and still keeps doing the same thing you just told them not to do so if you love your child you will discipline them you will not allow them to do what you just told them 10 times to not do you have to enforce it. You have, You cannot. You cannot raise children that way. I don't think you can. I'm not saying to, I don't believe in corporal punishment, really. But I can tell you right now that you need to enforce whatever discipline you have. It's no good to sit and scream and yell and, and, and tell a child 20 times to stop doing something because then they learn that you don't enforce it and they get away with it. You have to be able to back up your words. And that's what boundaries are. Now look, I've warned you. Now you have to abide by that rule. 
or we're going to have a problem here. Do you understand? This person resented your confidence. They resented your independence. They wanted you codependent. Because that is what they know. Codependency. This is crazy for this to come out in the read. Spirit? I wonder if I got a new spirit guide. Damn. Yeah, like... No, these are the swords of truth, man. What up? That was spirit took the hammer to this relationship. Because somebody was getting greedy. Somebody. Is too afraid of being a freaking loan. So they tolerate it. They put up with it. Get out of town. For the name of love, go on. Yeah, that's what builds a solid foundation. You gotta have love. You gotta have unconditional love and understanding. Yes. But to have a healthy home, to have a stable foundation, you do need to have some discipline. You gotta be able to compromise and you gotta be able to say, look, you know, I love you unconditionally. We need to set some parameters here to function this household and make this last. The, you want something to last, right? Well, how's it been working out for you loving unconditionally? Like, I'm sorry. Like, you can love a person unconditionally, but you need to have boundaries both people do I don't want you doing this to me or saying this to me please I don't want you doing this or saying this to me okay I can do that if that offends you if that hurts you of course I'll stop doing that I wouldn't want to do anything to hurt you thank you for telling me and thank you for trusting me enough to feel like I can be open enough to talk to you about that. That's what makes harmony, man. That's what makes fair. Being fair. Being just. Why should one person always have to like... Yeah, one person, spirit saying, then one person gets happy, the other person gets sad. Both people should be happy. When one person's down, the other one can bring, like I said, it's back and forth. what I said. It leads to codependency. Hmm. 
Yeah, in this case, this person thought that they could cheat, that they could entertain third parties, that they could, because you were so loving, I'll see, proven a fact, spirit, thank you. You were so empathetic, so loving, so loving, unconditional, that there were no boundaries. This person thought, hey, anything goes here. I can get away with whatever I want to get away with when I want to get away with it. It's Spirit's proving it. Which is why you had to speak your truth. I'm sorry. This person... <laughs> yeah. One person operates by the moon and the other person operates by the sun. One person hides what they do. The other person has to be the bad guy, be the one who exposes it. No, there's got to be 100% transparency. It has to be. It doesn't mean that you have to turn on them and hate them or resent them. It just means you can love someone enough to discipline them. Love someone enough to tell them the truth. Love someone enough to say, please, stop doing this. I don't like it. Why is somebody arguing this? They must be arguing that. They must be arguing that for this to be coming out. They must be arguing about it. Well, if they loved me unconditionally, they would have accepted me cheating. Well, if they loved me unconditionally, that is using love as a weapon. That's not unconditional love. Because cheating is betraying your partner, and that's not a loving action. <laughs> it isn't. So that's a cop-out. That's somebody using the term unconditional love when they have conditions. They wouldn't tolerate you cheating on them, would they? They are. They're arguing that fact, or it would not come up in two of my reads. Well, if you loved me unconditionally, you you would have got upset when I cheated on you. I mean, that's horseshit. Well, it's really easy to see why I'm not in a relationship. <laughs> if you're supposed to do that, I fail every time. I would fail every freaking time. Every time. Every time I would fail. Seriously, and I'm being honest, 100%, because I'm not codependent, sorry, and I'm not going to be. 
I was probably a little bit at like in my earliest relationships. Like I, I'm very loving and I can love unconditionally like I know you guys can. But are you supposed to be a doormat? Because in the name of love? No, I don't agree. And neither does spirit. Not, a, not what's coming out in these cards anyway. I think you need healthy boundaries. And healthy relationships. My good God. Otherwise it turns codependent. Period. That's what spirit's saying. At least that's what my guides are saying. It leads to instability. I'm sorry. And it will end in a tower. Because it leads to instability. You have to have fairness in a relationship and understanding, but you have to have transparency. You've got to be willing to discuss what it is. If you're not willing to discuss what it is, then go find yourself another doormat. That's my opinion. I cannot. Maybe I don't love unconditionally I don't know but I know I have but I know when to not be a fool either you know uh, I think healthy relationships have boundaries that's what I believe I can't help the way I believe that's just what I believe I could be wrong I could be right I really don't freaking know But I can only tell you from my experiences, when I did love unconditionally and there were no boundaries, they ended up in a disaster, a complete disaster. It's like when you come into a relationship, you have to have things in place, what you can and cannot go for, what you will and will not agree to or agree upon. Those are fundamentals of any relationship. We either can agree or we can agree to disagree. You know, if there are things that you can't overcome, then maybe you're not suited for one another. How do you find out? If if you never discuss it or set boundaries, well, I am the type of person who blah, blah, blah. And this person says, well, I can't tolerate that. Okay, thanks for letting me know. I mean, I can either accept that or I can reject that. But it's giving the other person the heads up about it. What are you going to do? Just like, I think a lot of us got into trouble by loving unconditionally and not having um, boundaries put in place. And then when we did implement the boundaries, that's when everything goes for a shit because now all of a sudden you're trying to implement boundaries. I could be wrong. I'm no expert. I'm just like, I know bullshit when I hear it. <laughs> Take care.